Good afternoon, everybody. Well, just actually reaching 12 o'clock. I'm working like mad over here. Melanie helped me. We removed the solar panels. It looks sort of sad off the electronic shop. So there are no more there. And we're bringing them over here. I had to stop because it's hot and I was getting dizzy. We flattened this solar panel rack. It was a job. I did not have the camera because it was just a nightmarish thing. I ran to town this morning and I got a longer bolt to go through between the two solar panel racks. And what we now have is one hinge bolt going through both frames. Rather than buying another 4x4, which is expensive, I just used another bolt to go through and both racks are hinged at the same point now. So that saves us uh, a lot of money. Anyway, we had quite a time trying to drive that old bolt out of that other frame here. And so what I did is I laid it, Melanie and I, Melanie helped, we laid it flat and then used cross bracing uh, to hold that up. And then Melanie helped assist to take pressure off this corner and off the hinge itself and I was able to drive it out. Literally I had to unscrew it, unthread it from the treated uh, lumber 4x4. It had cemented itself in permanently. So then we got the other hinge in and um, that's that second bolt was the original bolt from here. So uh, everything's good now. We're not going to expand closer to the road so that's as far as it goes. I can still drive my car in and out as I need to. And uh, yeah, I was in working on DIY tube video site. That is my normal full-time job now, by the way. So um, just so you know, that is my job. And I have to work on that a lot. And then I come out and work on this stuff. In the meantime, I take in and out, in and out. So that's why my projects are going a little slower this year. Um, otherwise, I'd have had this done in a day. But that's how it is. So um, I am doing some reconstruction on this rack. The 2x4s, um, actually this 2x4 twisted badly and the 2x4s that we're mounting the solar panels on have been working themselves off. So the solar panels had slipped. So I'm reworking this as well and I'm going to fix that up a whole lot better and improve that then um, anyway I won't be doing a lot of recording as I go because it's just a lot of heavy lifting and work getting those panels up I've got one over here I see that one tipped over somehow I don't know how or why but that tipped over I didn't get that out of the way anyway so um, I've got uh, one over here I'm gonna put the, the bottom brace on there and get to work now, I've got two panels sitting on here, uh, tied with two screws. Um, what I've done this time is I've made a ledge the entire length of the frame, and I'm putting the screws in at an angle to help prevent twisting in the future. I'm also going to tie them in on the ends, on the corners. I've removed the pieces of 2 by 4 from here. I'm going to fix that frame. I'm going to remove that, put the cross brace 2x4 in there, and then tie it into here, and then try to I'm going to remove that and try to put this back into place. Hopefully that'll work over right. And then I can push those solar panels back in place and then reattach them. But they've held up for quite a while and they made it so far. And uh, I have to readjust a I'm not taking it apart now. <laughs> when I had this on the ground, I had it all measured out and laid out right. And when I put it up, we put it on upside down. It is where it is. I have to move that board and put it down here. Um, I am not taking the frame off to turn it around. Um, we had I had it laid out right, but I don't know what happened. When we put it up, we put it on upside down. So it is, yeah, whatever. It's no big deal. Uh, remove four screws, move that board down in the middle. And then I can put on the other two solar panels. And then, um, yeah, well, then I have to rewire it all. But we'll have uh, um, 1600 watts going on right here, side by side. 
and a very impressive looking structure pretty soon. Charge my tools right here. No way that's just charged already. That's a fast charger. I got it directly to the inverter. So we're running that right off the extra 200 uh, watt solar panel that I have sitting on the ground up front until I get the rest of these wired back up. So I'm going to pop another battery in and go in for lunch. Melanie just called me in. I've got this board on here. Now the uh, treated 2x4 was warped and the board underneath is warped so I've got a C-clamp, heavy duty, heavy C-clamp and I still haven't got these in yet. I'm trying to get that straightened and this fastened together. Once I get that then I can put this, these back in. But at least now the solar panels won't be falling off the rack and sliding down like they were. And then I'm going to put screws in the middle like I had on the other rack. I didn't have that here and that'll help keep the pressure of the upper panels off the lower panels. Well, I got it straight. I'm just going to finish screwing that in. Well, look at that, guys. I still have to adjust that center board. Oh, I'm going to have to... I was thinking I could adjust the panels now, but I'm going to have to drop the panels to adjust that board. It looks good. I like it. This is really good. This blows away what we had in New York. Okay, now I fixed it. Melanie had to help. There's no way I can hold all that together. Now those are going to be even when I get the center boards in. They're only held on with one board on the outsides. And I'll tack those centers in. But now I can get the other two panels on. And uh, then I have to wire it all together. This is going to be very impressive. I really am pleased with that. Really cool. Oh, a little cool, huh? Cool girl. I want to screw that one in and we'll be done. I had to level it again. Uh, to get them on I had to flatten that and then I can secure the panels in place and then bring it back up. But it's going to look really good I think. Wow, that's an impressive structure guys. I like it. I really like it. Now you'll notice the two on the left are taller than the two on the right. I have two 235 waters on the left. I don't know if you see the difference. But uh, a little bit more power than the two on the top left. All the others are 200 watts. So I have 1,670 watts on the racks. And then I've got two more panels. Uh, it, I have a 235 and a 200 water to put up yet. So I might make another um, next to this one eventually and put those two on. And then I'll have uh, over 2,000, 2,100 watts of power. So now I've got to do the electrical connections. Well, it's not pretty, but it's working. Um, 
I got everything wired up for now. I uh, didn't show you my hooking up the wires because I showed you that in the last video when I did this set. So all I did was some cutting and crimping, no big deal, and just push in plugs. Um, the sun is higher in the sky, so my two new panels are shaded, and I'm going to have to go higher up on that tree, unfortunately. It's not cool. I don't know, I'd really like to keep that tree and have some shade on the house, but um, I don't know what to do about that, because now it's like, I don't know if it's 3 or 4 in the afternoon, and uh, it's peak sunlight, it's almost straight overhead, and they're partly shaded, which is bad. Lose a lot of power from that, a lot. But there it is. I'm going to go in for a while and take a break. It's hot out. It was 86 degrees when I checked last. Hi, Melanie. Hi. <laughs> so what are we doing here? You shy? You went shy on me all of a sudden? Yes. Okay. So Melanie is making blueberry muffins. Home-picked blueberries from our own harvest last year. And homemade muffins using the GoSun uh, Sport solar oven since it's uh, been a sunny day so pretty cool we're using free energy to cook with to make muffins the fridge just kicked on a little bit ago and this is mind-blowing I cannot believe it I have a kilowatt meter here um, sadly it's upside down because the outlet is upside down so let me turn you around this is mind-blowing this is, uh, where are we, 89 watts, just 90 watts of power this is using at this time. I can't believe it, 90 watts of power, that's nothing, I think that's watts, let me see, um, yes it says watts, you can probably see it better than I can, because I'm trying to turn my head upside down. It says 90 watts. I can't believe it. Um, 0 0.7, 0 0.77 amps. Unbelievably cheap. Wow. This is exciting. This thing burns next to nothing. Um, wow. Now it's up to 120. I'm going to keep an eye on it. It went up to 122 watt. No, that's volts. Ah, <laughs> confused myself. 0.9 uh, PF. I don't know what PF is. 60 hertz. It's upward upside down. VA. 91 watts. Unbelievable. Well, I put the kilowatt amp meter on there at 6.30 in the afternoon. And I'm writing that down in my, uh, my uh, book. And then I'll keep an eye on this, how much it uses in the coming days, how many kilowatts, uh, kilowatt hours it uses a day to run this thing. Just for info everybody, the meter is not moving. Our power meter is stopped. <laughs> I like it. <laughs>